How's it going, Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly, Dapo Willis. <laughs> Guys, anytime I come back on YouTube, I'm always so excited because it is absolutely amazing to be able to be connecting with amazing traders like yourself. Now, if you're just joining me for the first time, like I said, my name is Dapo Willis. I'm probably one of the most realistic traders you'd ever come across on the internet. Why? Because I practice exactly what I preach. Every strategy that I teach on my channel, I use it in my live trading as well, which I'm going to show you guys in a bit. Now, because of the fact that I always practice whatever whatever thing it is that I preach, I have a segment on my YouTube channel called Trader Talk. Now, if you've been following me for the longest, you already know what Trader Talk, but if you're just joining me for the first time, Trader Talk is basically a segment of my YouTube channel whereby I come to express my skills. I've been trading for, 10, for 12 years, sorry. All everything I've learned over the last 12 years, I come to express it on the charts and I use my expertise to analyze the charts and help you guys ultimately make money and put some money in your freaking pocket, right? So guys, um, today we have episode 50 of Trader Talk. Yay! 50 five zero fifty whole episodes of trader talk guys we've come a very long way and i'm very excited about that now guys um today i want to be discussing some pairs i'm going to be breaking down some from from trading instruments that you guys can use to obviously go and make money in the market um but before I do any of that, I just wanted to say a quick shout out to every single one of you, all my subscribers. We are probably about 122,000 subscribers. I love every single one of you. And if you're just joining me for the first time, welcome to a community, a Forex trading community where you can actually make money, like realistically make money. Now, before I jump into my charts and start talking about all the amazing setups that can obviously help us make money in the coming weeks, I have a massive announcement. I have, have amazing news to share with you guys. Guys. guys, we have recently just partnered with a regulated broker to launch our very own prop firm called Willis Capital. Now, I know a lot of you guys have already heard about Willis Capital, but we spoke about the launch, but we pushed had to push the launch back, launch back because we wanted to get the very best trading conditions for you guys. And as God would have it, we have successfully partnered with a regulated broker. Now, the reason why it took so long, like I was saying earlier, is because I was very, very adamant about partnering with a regulated broker. I noticed that most of the prop firms out there actually, most of the prop firms out there actually are not partnered with regulated brokers. So what was actually happening is these prop firms were placing trades in-house. Most of the live trades were not being placed in the live market. And at the end of the day, if you make any money trading, they don't get to pay you out. This was the primary and fundamental issue with most prop firms. So I decided that when I'm going to do my own thing called Willis Capital, I'm going to put you guys first. I've always had the notion in this industry that if you put the traders first, it's a win-win for everybody. Okay, I don't believe in you, you, you're, 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 you're an educator or you're a signal provider or you're a broker, or you're a prop firm, and you're constantly feeding off of traders' losses. No, I believe that if we place these trades on a live market, it's more money for us. Why? Because there's a 70 30 split, meaning that if we encourage you, train you, get you to a point of profitability, and we fund you with $100,000, for example, and you make 100% on that, you keep 70K and we get 30K. That's more money than we would ever make from subscription. So it's very straightforward and simple for me. Traders win, we win. If the traders don't win, we don't win. This way, we're committed to ensuring that you guys pass your challenges, get funded, and actually start making money. Now, talking about getting funded and how to pass your challenges, I would encourage every single one of you who is about to buy the challenge. So we'll be launching about the first week of January. Now, if you're going to go ahead and buy the challenge and actually start trading these live funds, or you want to actually be able to pass the challenges, we have something called the Forex Mastery Program. 
the Forex Mastery program has the top-down analysis and this is the same approach that I've been teaching and been using to analyze this market and this is how we are right 9 out of 10 times. So long story short, if you want to stand any chance at passing those challenges, you want to stand any chance at being able to get funded and actually making money, I suggest that you get your foundational knowledge from the Forex Mastery program. It's the top-down analysis because this will not only allow you pass the challenges, it would allow you trade as many instruments as you want. And with the rules on Willis Capital, we're making it very relaxed. There's no time limit. You can hold your trades for as long as you want to hold the trades because at the end of the day, the top-down analysis actually preaches sustainable trading. Okay? Sustainable trading whereby you get into, you, you project a thousand pips. So simple. You buy your ch challenge, you watch the Forex Mastery course, you take the Forex Mastery course, you see a setup of a thousand pips, you, you get into the trade, have a 70 pip stop loss, and you can hold that trade for as long as you want to hold the trade. Yes. But primarily, you need to get the Forex Mastery program so that you have the foundational knowledge. The reason why, once again, the Forex Mastery course is around here somewhere. The link is going to be in the description. The reason why I'm urging you guys to do this before the prop firm goes live is, is because I want every single one of you to be well-grounded educational-wise. I want to have more pass rates. And I want, guys, at the end of the day, I'm staking one million US dollars of my own money. So I need to ensure that you guys are actually very, well equipped to trade these funds. I don't want to hear any stories. So if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, I encourage you to do so. The link is in the description as always or it's going to be around here. Start practicing. Start watching. And if you already have it, Forex Mastery program students, go back and watch it all over again so that once we launch in the new year, you're ready to take on the new year. Without any further ado, once again, the link to the Forex Mastery program is around here somewhere. Get it and let's jump into the video. Let's, let's use the top-down analysis and what we've learned from the Forex Mastery program to make some money. Let's see some live shit. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, people, welcome, welcome inside of my screen. So, I'm gonna kick things off with... All right, people, time for some charts, okay? You guys had everything I had to say, obviously, in the intro of this video. Willis Capital is launching soon, and I advise you guys to get the Forex Mastery program so that you are well equipped to take advantage of juicy opportunities like the one in front of you. We 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 analyzed this trade from when it was all the way up here, when it was retracing. We plotted, we knew it was gonna come here. We saw the before the bounce happened, we saw the bounce. When everybody was scared, like, oh my god, it's falling, it's dying, it's going. We knew. Forex Mastery students, we knew. Now, guys, I'm about to jump into my chart. I'm about to, you know, go over some very interesting pairs, trading opportunities for you guys as well. Um, I think I have one trading opportunity on AUD USD for you guys. But before I jump into my charts to do anything, you guys need to do yourself one favor and hit the subscribe button right there. Smash that subscribe button. You want to know why? You want to know why? So that you don't get left out whenever it is I post amazing videos like this okay so you don't get left out when i'm posting videos like this because at the end of the day if i post this video today and you watch it next week it's of no use to you because the market is always moving so i'll give you five seconds to smash the subscribe button five smash it four three two one and hit the bell icon hit the bell icon so that you get <laughs> when i post you get <laughs> Yes, and um, I was gonna ask guys, drop me a comment down below. In um, drop me a comment, drop a comment down below, and tell me, out of all the prop firm packages, which one would you guys actually prefer? Would you want the ten thousand dollar accounts, uh, twenty five thousand dollar accounts, fifty eight k accounts? Because we actually wanted to go all the way up to five hundred k accounts, but my team was like, nee, nee, nee. so you guys are you guys are the ones that are going to be trading this account. Tell me which one would you be comfortable trading with? So drop the comment down below so that I know, and then my team is going to go through it, and then obviously they're going to have. So we're going to have five packages. So we want to know which account sizes to put. So drop the comment down below. Now, without any further ado, let's look at what's happening in the charts. Let's look. So, starting off with my favorite pair at the moment, which is the S&P 500. 
the s p 500 like i analyzed last week not much has has actually happened but as you guys can see very nicely and very clearly this is simple price action tactics okay what actually happened here was very simple all i did was spot a higher high and a higher low okay it was so simple straightforward fibonacci a b c we retraced into here if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm going to show you guys fib retracement into the 50 fib and as you can see we had a left shoulder head right shoulder once that broke out we were heading all the way to the upside now i'm very optimistic about the s p 500 going all the way up to four thousand eight hundred dollars not four thousand eight hundred dollars four thousand eight hundred basis points um would because you guys all know fundamental laws of price action is once we have a once we have a high we have a low we have a high 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 low we must at least come and put in equal highs so this will be my first level target overall my entries are somewhere down here why are my entries there it was such a simple it's actually one of the most simple trades i've actually seen in a very long time this was a, the trend line at the time the market was still trading about here we had anticipated a rally to the upside but obviously we came short of the upside which is here started to pull back i put my trend line and then this was the neckline don't forget guys this is a head and shoulder pattern left shoulder head right shoulder and this was now acting as neckline which is now support right and then if you just take your fibonacci um from swing low to swing high this is known as the willis zone i teach this on module six on the forex mastery program so this is exactly how you're able to predict 4100 all the way up to 4800 so this is 900 pips 900 potential pips but when i tell people i project thousands of pips into the future they're like yeah, yeah, yeah it's talking rubbish i did it right here go to trader talk episode this is 50 so if you go about the scale back two episodes about that we that's exactly when the market was just still kind of like pulling down into here so there's not much to talk about here um i'm going to be taking out some of my money at this 100 percent retracement which is here take out some of my money here and then if you break all the way up to the upside i'm going to take out some of my money here and then the rest of it i'm going to allow it to rally all the way to the upside my overall target for the s p 500 is this sorry guys no not btc sorry just need to delete everything it's supposed to be simple and straightforward don't know why you are stressing me trading view yalla all right cool so overall target obviously will be at the extension 0.27 extension if indeed we breach the 4800 basis points so it's so simple and straightforward you guys know how the market works if it's a 50 fib pull we must definitely come and complete the 0.28 extension so i'm anticipating s p 500 and, and, and all the way up there so unfortunately there's no trading opportunities as we speak i am already in this trade so i'm just going over what exactly i feel is going to happen and then over to btc um btc has done a very fantastic i think we're, we're about to embark on a bull run if i'm being very honest um the bull run is looking very likely if i come on the monthly time frame yes so the bull run is looking very very likely to the upside like i was saying i'm anticipating btc to come in at um forty seven thousand dollars per coin right now i have no trading opportunities on btc because this is a consolidation that i cannot interpret okay sometimes the market just gives you consolidation moves that you just cannot interpret right now i i'm not i i'm not comfortable trading um trading opportunities like this i'm more of a pullback trader because with pullbacks it's easier for you to identify entry points you can do your counter trend line and then boom you have entries you have stop loss areas and all that but this one looks a bit overstretched okay i don't want to jump into buys and then we pull in a bit deep before we head higher but um once i see a decent opportunity for us to jump in for a buy i'll be letting you guys know um somebody was saying in the comment that um i i did some of my analysis and i did not speak about where i entered the truth is <clears throat> i do a lot of analysis just to help me have clarity in terms of where the market is going to go then from all the analysis i now hand pick the ones that have the most the, the easiest entries 
okay? Just because BTC is gonna go to $47,000 per coin does not mean I'm just gonna click a buy because you can get stopped out before the market heads in your direction. So I need a situation whereby we pull back and give, it needs to show me a, an entry pattern that I like to trade. If you're struggling with the entry strategy, get the Forex Mastery Program. Once again, the link is in the description as always. In module seven, I speak about entries and exits. So you can obviously learn my entry strategy. It's very, very conservative and it will save you a lot of money and make you a lot of money as well. Okay, so right now my, 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 my criteria for entry has not been met on BTC, so I can only watch to see what is happening, but I can tell you for free that BTC will be rallying up to $47,000 per coin, provided um, nothing to serious shakes it up. Also, from a sentimental standpoint, I read on the news that the CEO of Binance had stepped down. I think something happened under his watch, whereby um, it was a bit of a neglect on his part. I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but I think he stepped down in order to save the Bitcoin bull run because Bitcoin, a lot of people have had their entire life savings wiped out from this crash. Okay, so at least we're starting to pop back up, up a bit. Um, technically speaking, I see, in fact, there was one of the guys, this, this industry is crazy. This market is actually crazy. There's one guy, he used to live in Dubai. Um, before I moved to Dubai, I used to watch his videos on YouTube and it was actually he was actually one of the main reasons I actually moved to Dubai because I got to see how beautiful Dubai was from his YouTube channel. Uh, you know, I was, and I was really wowed as to how beautiful the city was. Um, but I don't know, I think since Bitcoin crashed, I haven't, the guy's deleted his Instagram, TikTok, even, you do know what it is for, I mean, you can delete your Instagram and be like, okay, um, I don't want social media distraction. Okay, you can delete your TikTok. Mm, I don't want to be distracted by TikTok. But for you to go as far as deleting your YouTube channel, you're running away from somebody. <laughs> so a lot of crypto traders is, is a mess. Uh, it's a mess. So hopefully this bull run, crypto, if you're a crypto guy, have, have some faith. We're looking like we might be putting in a bull run at least to 47K. Okay, if we clear that level, hopefully you have some you have some some respite to the upside yeah and this technically is looking like a higher high from here so inshallah we can push all the way to the upside but for btc for the seven thousand dollars per coin i don't have an entry just about yet once i do i will let you know now over to my next favorite pair which i have um <clears throat> been 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 short for the longest time um I, I checked my my trading account um, and that of my investors as well. You guys know I manage well over 150 million US dollars for investors. Um, so I've been massively short on AUD USD. Most of my trades are in profit. Um, however, I was in massive profit just about um, last week in October and then checked it again middle of November and profits were looking nice. However, <coughs> we have boosted against the trend okay so guys the truth is these things happen i saw people stressing AUDUSD. guys that means if you're stressing about AUDUSD, that means you haven't learned anything from me at least because you would understand that dude you do your analysis and have some faith have some what have some faith my brothers have some faith Okay, the market is pointing downwards. Allow it do its thing. It needs to take its time. Allow the market what to take its time to do its thing. So I'll simply come on the daily time frame. See, guys, let me explain something to you. Okay, aside from this resistance bar, there's another support level here, which is now resistance. This a lot of people didn't see. Now, if I do my fib from swing swing high to swing low, you can see how this region is actually a 50 fib region. So we have resistance. We have resistance, we have trend line, and we have 50 fib. Let me clear it out so that you guys are not seeing too many lines. I'm just gonna make it pretty clear for you guys. Okay, delete all this stuff. So, this is a high, low, lower high, and this is a lower low from here. So why exactly, and it's looking like it wants to put in a lower high about here. So why exactly the hell am I gonna be panicking for goodness sake? That's wild. <laughs> the only way I'm going to panic is if we blow through here all the way to this resistance. For now, still intact. All my sell orders are still the way they are. I'm not touching it. If we come in here, I'll be looking for another sell opportunity. 
guys i know this trade has taken the longest time to make its way to the downside but that's just how the market can be sometimes especially when there's not that much liquidity in the forex market okay so i'm still very much short AUD USD. i'll be looking for a push into here for a potential sell to the downside i will need a bounce a bearish engulfing candle bounce to the downside somewhere about here then i'm looking for sell opportunities so simple and straightforward you don't need to cry you don't need to cry so easy it's so easy you just need a bit of you know be able to stomach a bit of pullbacks if you can stomach pullbacks in this game you'll be good trust me you'll be good so that's AUD USD in a nutshell trading opportunity lining up pretty much about here i'll give it another seven days <laughs> i'll give you another seven days for it to line up pretty nicely for a nice downside push i have no fear in my mind it's looking like a third touch of the trend line which should do the trick finally for this shit to go to the downside so yeah that's AUD USD for the euro and gbp usd as you can see i told you guys the market is looking bearish However, this blue bar is going to be a problem. And as God will have it, the blue bar bounced the market back up. So we expect to see some sideways action. Expect to see some sideways action. I'm not the type of trader that's going to sell. I don't sell at resistance. I only sell when there's a trend, there's a flow. I will need this blue bar to be broken up. As long as we're trading be below this, um, in between this yellow bar and this blue bar, I would not be interested because there's no it's it's 50 50. You can sell and it can go up, or you can you can sell, it can go down, or you can buy and break off this and it gets here. And <laughs> so I don't like to trade. I'm trading a lot of money, managing significant amount of money for very very influential and wealthy and dangerous people. <laughs> so the last thing I want to be doing is playing around anybody's anybody's fortunes okay and this also helps me stay disciplined when i'm trading my own personal funds as well which i always trade alongside my investors money and the same thing is happening for gbp usd as you can see the patterns are pretty much the same okay they are both very strong us dollar based pairs um so yeah not much happening here i mean we might push into the yellow bar but it's boring you can trade it but it's 50 50 you'll be in and out make money lose money i'm not really interested in stuff like that u.s oil somebody said one guy came in my comments and he said something like oh you didn't talk about oil you said oil was gonna go higher you didn't go higher you didn't talk about it again ha 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 you're a failure dude have some sense have some sense out of everything i speak about is the one that does not go according to plan you are so upset with me about my brother clearly i am not your problem <laughs> i think you need to check with your village people it's not me <laughs> it's not me that's your problem so obviously i was anticipating a u.s oil to shoot all the way to a hundred dollars per barrel but the thing about u.s oil is u.s oil is not just 100 percent fundamental it's not just 100 percent technical based so we can have a clear direction and then some oil tanker that is probably moving through this, the the swiss canal or through the brinks of gibraltar or going somewhere or going passing through somalia you know gets freaking tacked by some people that attack shit do you know what i'm saying like and then they're like oh oil this blah 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 or maybe saudi arabia decides to boost production that could make oil prices crash so you can be bullish on oil and the saudi oil minister just comes out and says yeah i'm boosting production and then boom the market starts to crash so oil is a bit more tricky <laughs> however I was projecting at $100 per barrel, according to my technical analysis. I did not have an entry at the time. I remember I always give clear criteria for entries. If I remember very carefully, my criteria for entry was that we needed to bounce off of here and then come and clear here to, for further upside. That didn't happen. And as you can see, we've just rolled over all the way to the downside, which is absolutely fine as well. It's nothing to cry about. That is why we have what? Rules of engagement. This is why I preach the Forex Mastery program because on there, you have, it's not just about entry and exit and strategy. We have, 
ideologies in place that would save you even when the trade is looking very juicy. There are certain things that must happen because a trade can look very juicy and not end up being freaking juicy. It's those parameters, those rules that you have set in place to guide your entry strategy that will ultimately save you because they are set up every day. What do you have in place to ensure that you are picking the very best setups? Do you get what I mean? So that's pretty much it. So for oil, ladies and gentlemen, I have no bias at the moment. I just wanted to touch on it because the guy said something about it. And that's fine. You know, one thing about me before, when I used to see negative comments on my social media, I used to get so upset. I you. <laughs> but these days, I mean, you can't expect to have 122,000 subscribers and have 50, 60, 70,000 people watching you and expect everybody to like you. It's not possible. And that goes for everybody that's watching this as well. Regardless of whatever thing it is you're doing in life, you will never, ever, ever be able to please people. You can't please everybody. Even jollof rice. <laughs> Some people don't like jollof rice. You know what I mean? Like, some people don't like Burner Boy. Some people prefer David O to Burner Boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people prefer Burner Boy to David O. Some people don't like whiskey. Some people like whiskey. They don't like David O. They hate Burner Boy. So, like, guys, at the end of the day, you know who you are. You're charting your own course. You have your obligations. You have the obligation to your customers. You have your obligation to your audience. You have your obligation to the people that love you. Fuck people. I don't like you and love the people that love you embrace them so i do this for my loyal followers people who've been following me from when i had just 100 subscribers barely had any views we've grown this channel to 120k i do this for you guys okay and i'll continue to do this for you guys as you can see i've put one million dollars of my own money aside I've literally put it in an escrow account with the bank to ensure that Willis Capital is a success. Not only am I giving you guys quality education, I'm giving you guys one of the best prop firms out there. Okay, so once again, if you've been riding with me for the longest, I love you very much. Once again, this is my time um, with the analysis and everything, and I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. I love you guys very much. Take it easy. And yeah, I have a little ad that I wanted to share with you guys from Okta FX. They've been sponsoring the channel for the longest, so I just wanted to throw in a quick ad there. They have some cool stuff that they want to tell you about. They've done some changes to their name and to their trading platform, so please watch it. And if you like Okta FX, go ahead and rock with them. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Let's go to the ad, and I'll see you guys later. Let's go. Bam. How's it going, everyone? So, guys, today I have some very exciting stuff to share with you guys. I'll be introducing you guys to a fantastic trading tool called the Okta Trading App. But first, a little update from our obviously very amazing partner, OctaFX. So they've actually changed the name from OctaFX to Okta, right? So this is the obviously everywhere you're going to see. Where you used to see OctaFX before is no longer going to be OctaFX. It's going to be called Okta. Now, this change reflects their expanded range of financial services. Yes, they now offer over 300 trading instruments, including commodities, stocks, shares, cryptocurrencies, and a lot more. And this is all part of their commitment to making trading easy and accessible for everyone. Now, guys, rest assured, Okta, obviously formerly Okta FX, Okta remains one of the most reliable Forex brokers out there. They now offer some of the lowest spreads in the industry and absolutely no hidden fees or commissions whatsoever. Your peace of mind is important to them, which is why they provide a negative balance protection. Oh, this is pretty cool. You will never lose more money than you actually put into your account. I've, I've, I've had situations whereby, obviously, long time ago in the past, whereby you can literally lose more money than you actually put. Then you start owing the broker. So Okta, Okta, not Okta FX, Okta ensures that they obviously give you some form of protection for that. Now, before you dive in, you can obviously try out the demo account with simulated funds to get a feel for the platform. Speaking of inconvenience, Okta makes trading seamless. Start on your computer and at home and seamless transitions to your smartphone while you're on the go. It's trading made easy anytime and anywhere. But wait, there's more. I've got a special treat for you. When you sign up using the promo code, obviously provided in the link down below, you receive a 100% bonus on your deposit. That means if you deposit 100 US dollars, it instantly becomes $200. It's a fantastic way to give your trading journey a boost right from the start. Now, before we proceed, a quick reminder. 
Trading involves risk and the use of leverage can have both positive and negative impacts on your financial positions. It's not suitable for everyone and you should never invest more than you can afford to lose. This is so important. Please don't go invest in your house rent. <laughs> Anyways, beware of the risk involved and trade responsibly. So if you're interested and ready on embarking your trading journey with Okta, check out the link in the description box below. You can also find Okta trading application on Google Play or the Apple Play Store. Don't miss out on this opportunity to potentially earn some extra income in your ordinary life. Happy trading every single one of you. Love you guys. Now let's go back to the video. Let's go. Thank you guys for staying to the very end of this video. I love you guys very, very much. Once again, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, ensure to do so. And don't forget to anticipate Willis Capital's launch in January. Once again, if you haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery program, the link is in the description as always. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. I love you guys very much. In peace.